Tensions are rising as fighting escalates in the Gaza Strip. A U.S. warship shot down three drones aimed at commercial ships in the Red Sea. Iranian-backed rebels claiming responsibility for some of the attacks, saying it was in response to the war. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. The war in the Gaza Strip has moved south. The people fleeing it are running out of options. Israel is targeting Hamas leaders believed to have regrouped in the south. But that's where Israeli officials told civilians to come when fighting was concentrated in the north. The White House pressed today on its message to Israel, a top U.S. ally. And what we have indicated to the Israelis is they need to use every means and tool that they have available to be sure that when they actually move in in force into an area in the south, that they do so with some confidence that people have actually gotten safe passage out of that area. The Biden administration has been ramping up pressure on Israel to protect civilians. International humanitarian law must be respected. Too many innocent Palestinians have been killed. In this kind of a fight, the center of gravity is the civilian population. And if you drive them into the arms of the enemy, you replace a tactical victory with a strategic defeat. Israel is now dropping leaflets with digital maps telling civilians to move from one quadrant of Gaza to another for their safety. But many don't have internet to read the QR code and don't believe that anywhere is safe. It comes amid growing concerns that the conflict could spread. Defense officials confirming to NBC News that a U.S. warship shot down three drones that were heading toward it off the coast of Yemen. It happened during a sustained attack on commercial ships in the Red Sea. Three of the ships were hit. It's unclear if the American warship was a direct target. Iranian-backed Houthi rebels claiming responsibility, calling it a show of support for Palestinians in Gaza. As soon as this week, the Senate is expected to take up a funding fight for both Israel and Ukraine. The White House is warning leaders in Congress that money to support Ukraine against Russia is running dry, stressing lawmakers need to act by the end of the year. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.